some of these might be new some of these might be old a uh, whole I, I was hoping a lot of these are videos some of these are just pictures which i mean i'll accept you know whatever i'll accept pictures dude i need to get wireless headphones like th this this no i oh oh i can't handle it dude it's pissing me off all right whatever Moving on, that is not the right screen. That is. All right, first video. I don't know what's going on here, but I thought you might like it, okay? It has no sound. What? what? What the f what is this? Here, wait, let, let me, let me fit the screen real quick. What the, f what the fuck is this? You're just showing me raw meat. Looks like flour. Boiling poop. And boiling piss. Are the fact that this is such like it says 22 likes this is posted in 2014 the video is muted it has no sound that's what makes it even more concerning there is no sound Th this was posted in 2000 how did you even find this video 2014 22 likes did you post this did you fucking post this, this is swamp water the fuck is this shit? Why is the dark meat purple? Good question. It is purple, isn't it? Oh god, yeah, it is. I hate it. I hate this. I hate it. All right. Next one. Kind of purposeful but still disgusting. All right, I'm fine with that. Let's see it. What, what am I, wait, we gotta zoom in here. What am I looking, what the hell is this sea creature looking ass shit? What is this? Is that meat? Having heart for dinner. Oh, it's heart. It's like a cow heart on Valentine's Day. It's a perfect meal for the occasion. Oh! Okay, I know it's a joke, but like... Why? Why? This is 36.7 likes. Was it worth it? Oh wait, I guess it's from someone else. There's a repost. Ew. Ew. That's all I gotta say about that is ew. Alright. Mmm, homemade chicken soup with three types of noodles. That is... It is, it is scrambled eggs. <laughs> that is scrambled eggs with like shredded chicken. What the? Are those supposed to be dumplings? Are, 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 are those supposed to be the noodles? Is the scrambled eggs? Are the scrambled eggs the noodles? And what? Why do you have fucking. What is this bug spray back here? What is that? That is. There's, that's not like Pam. Is that Pam or is that bug spray? And I don't, I feel like those black specks are not pepper. I feel like those are not, pe that's not pepper at all. No, that's not pepper. All right, what else do we got? All right, now my dogs are fucking barking. Give me a sec here. Give me a sec. Let them bark it out. All right. I've seen some things on my time online, but I've very deprived things, but microwave scrambled egg with tuna. Haven't made scrambled egg in a microwave for ages. Just fancied it this morning with tuna. Mmm. 
Who the fuck makes scrambled eggs in a microwave? Do you know how fucking easy it is to make scrambled eggs? You know how easy it is to make scrambled eggs? You just you throw it in a fucking pot. You throw it in a pot with butter. You throw it in a pot with some butter, some salt, some milk. Boom. You're done. What the fuck is this? With tuna? Yeah. Yeah. My reaction exactly is sad keck. I thought this was a frog. I honestly thought this was a frog. Oreo eggs. See, all right. Now a lot of you are probably like, oh, this is fake, right? It's like, oh, no one would actually do this. If you're high enough, if you're high enough, this would sound like a good idea. You know what I mean? Like this would actually sound like a good idea if you were high enough. Isn't that, isn't that fucking crazy? That's crazy. Some people don't, some people just don't need, need weed. <laughs> the fuck? Okay, this is a throwback. That's a, that's a throwback right there. Some mustard pop tart on some toast in an egg crate. That's a throwback. Anyone? Anyone member? This is, this is back like when I was starting YouTube, guys. Any members? All right, here we go. Here's, here's a TikTok. Everybody's so creative. Oh, look, a burger face. I bet you never thought about making yourself a burger face. And put your little egg yolks right inside to make the eyes and the mouth. And make sure you add some salt because you want to season it. Get yourself some Lay's potato chips or whatever kind of potato chips you got. If you ain't got none, go on to the neighbors and ask them, can you have all their little crunched up chips at the bottom of the bag? Because you want to make yourself some mashed potatoes. That's what we're going for. You ain't got to go through all that trouble of boiling those old nasty, dirty potatoes. Just get yourself a bag of Lay's. Pay $3.99 a bag for them. Like potatoes ain't the same price, but it don't matter because you're rich. Put it all in the pan together. You know, I want to see the original video. You know what I mean? I want to see the, I, I just want to see the video behind her. Because you want all that to cook at the same time. There's no need. I can't even hear what she's saying. I kind of, I kind of want to hear what she's saying behind, behind her. I want, I want to hear the actual video. All them dishes and then get your kids to clean them up. They tired from playing games. See how that looks all beautifully scary? That's how it's supposed to look. It's supposed to make the kids run. It's halfway over. How how much worse does it get? It ain't gonna slide down easy. You're about to get a flip. See that juice on top? You want all that to go inside the mashed potatoes. Flip it. Oh, see how bunch of crunchy that looks? It's supposed to look, it's supposed to look like that. I'm trying to just focus on the thing behind her, but boy, boy, the thing is, like, I would not be surprised if some idiots would think that chips, if you like cook them, that it would make mashed potatoes. You know what I mean? Like, there's definitely people out there like that. So, I mean, I, I believe that could possibly be real. All right, here we go. I don't even, I don't even, like, what the fuck, what do you, what, what, what even, what even is this, is that like tilapia, lime, or maybe avocado, hey guys, don't be shocked, hold on, I'm about to sneeze from all the pepper I put on here, Jeez, that's a lot of pepper, but I love a lot of pepper, guys. Just thought I'd 
let you guys know, somebody sent me money for Montreal steak seasoning, so I will be making some awesome <coughs> Montreal steak seasoning videos soon. I had a craving for both avocados and fish, so I decided to fry them together. It's a whole new recipe I made up, and I think it's going to be awesome. That's a bit, right? That's a bit? I need another sip. That's a bit, right? Avocado fish and phlegm. Am I high or is the whole thing 2D? Avocado the frying pan, bestie? Knew who it was as soon as I saw the food. If you ain't sneezing, it ain't seasoned. So I assume, I assume this, this is like, yeah, right? This is bait. It's gotta be bait. Look at this awesome, awesome homemade fettuccine white sauce pizza my neighbor made me. She's awesome. Low key, this one ain't too bad. How? What? The cheese isn't even melted. Like, uh, oh god. Oh, like I don't know. Okay, maybe I'm just like a stickler for this shit. Maybe I'm just a stickler for this shit. But like, I'd eat it, bro. Like the cheese isn't even melted. It's like, you know when you take like a hand, it looks like they took a handful of Mexican cheese seasoning, threw it on there, and then put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. It could be fried avocado, okay, but I, it's still, it's still disgusting. I'm sorry, that, ew, no. Okay. This, this is, this has gotta be bait. What's up, YouTube? We are doing some hard boiled eggs. Now, yes, I did use Mountain Dew. And yes, I did use some hot sauce from this bottle. This is a pepper patch jalapeno hot sauce. I got a uh, pepper patch box for the holidays. So I figured I'd try it in a recipe. I just cracked open this bottle. So crack a bottle, okay. Now what I did, I also used some uh, salt. Is I filled it up to like here with water, so it's just barely over the eggs. And then I hit the rest with some Mountain Dew up to here. Do want a pinch of salt, just salt. Okay, I just want to see if he actually eats it. Hopefully it'll give it like a nice citrusy, spicy kick. But yeah, hard. what do you do, what do you do, what do you do? Okay, he didn't eat it, so it's not real. If he doesn't eat it, it's not real. I refuse, I refuse to believe it. Right. He, it may be bait, but you got to give him credit for the effort. Oh, fair enough. All right, what is this? The hot dog batter. Dog cakes. You should give this a try. I'm making what I call a dog cake. It starts off with a splash of milk in the blender, followed by two hot dogs and one large egg. You're gonna blend them together until it's a nice slurry and then put it in a mixing bowl and then add some little bit of milk just to thin it out, and then add in your self-rising flour and give it a whisk. If it's too thick, add some more milk, and if it's too runny, add some more of the self-rising flour. Then in a hot pan with melted butter, add in your mixture, and then cook it as if they were just normal pancakes. I got a cookie cutter out just so I could make nice uniform circles so I could stack them together. No. To plate the dog cakes, all you do is start off with your bottom layer, add some mustard, and then... Why? But why though? I'm positive this person does it for a troll. The only, okay, the thing is, I've seen so many recipes like this where people are like, like they take basic shit and then try to complicate it. Just make a hot dog with pickles and mustard or with relish and mustard with bread. You're done. Why do you gotta make hot dog pancakes? And then pickles. This is the only place you could find fucking hot dog pancakes is TikTok. And then add another layer of dog cake, followed by some more mustard and pickles, and keep doing yeah, it to the no. end. And then douse it in maple syrup. I gave.
Maple syrup. Okay, yeah, that's where I. That's where he loses me. I like. If it was just the mustard and pickle, I would get it because it's literally just ground up hot dog with like a makeshift bread and fucking pickle and, and mustard. But when he added the fucking no, not with the syrup, not with the syrup. Fuck you. Give this a try, and honestly, this is so delicious. It's smoky and sweet, and you get a nice briny from the pickles. I would honestly eat this if it was on a menu. Thank you, Queen Ray. I don't know why my alerts are not the right alerts, but still, I need to fix that. Remind me to fix that later. Thank you so much, Queen Ray, for the tier one. Ew! Moving on. You know, I thought I was like emotionally prepared for today. I don't think I am. I don't think I am. Hey guys, cooking up a It's C Page again. Come on, with the Montreal steak seasoning. Hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray. <laughs> oh no, I'm about to sneeze again from the pepper. Here we go. <coughs> It's not a real sneeze. <coughs> oh, geez, That's a that cough. <coughs> All right, so she just threw cheese. I think those are eggs and pepper. Oh God, the pepper, the pepper. Oh man, gotta love that pepper. Cheesy eggs with Montreal steak seasoning and pepper, guys. Yum, yum. The coughing is the seasoning, true. I'm so confused. It's sizzling, but not cooking. That's what I was confused about, is the fucking eggs aren't even, like, getting white. They're just sitting there. It's like it's a cold thing, but it's sizzling. Did she add a sizzling sound effect? I'm so confused. All right. Dude, fucking no. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. I learned this hot dog trick in England. Here's these in here. And this is my favorite recipe. Don't let him cook. Have a little bit of a pickle. Is not some weird technique. You can use your hands or a strainer. Depending okay. on how you're feeling that day. Add one more cup of water. Gelatin. One package for two cups. So I'm just gonna add like three, four. No, I need to know what I'm doing. There's no way you're making pickle jello right now. If I had to choose, I would not pickle this for dinner. Pour it all Oh god, it's so unfunny. Some white onion. It's all personal preference here. However you guys like your jello. One second, my wife's calling me. I have to watch a video my wife sent me, apparently. She was so right? Yeah, you know, she was. <laughs> I told you it was. You know what, you're right. You know, you're right there. You got me on that one. Let's finish the hot dog. Now we're gonna add some red pepper. Making sure it's all even. Is it even edible? <laughs> Protein, veggies. If they make one more bad pun, I'm going to punch a hole through my fucking monitor. Shut up, please. Jello, the three main food groups. And we're just... Ah! Ew, not on my floor. And we're going to let that set for about an hour. And then what are we going to have? Dinner? Absolutely. Dinner is almost served. Doing a little <laughs> Looking like a fail. Ready? Yep. Do we? End me. End me now. All right, moving on. 
All right, let me scroll back up to where I was. Let's see. So today I'm going to make a quick and nice roast dinner. It's the first time I'm making a roast dinner. What? <laughs> what? Huh? I thought that was a bag of chips. Yeah, okay. I, what? <laughs> Did I just get bamboozled? What the? I thought that was a bag of chips. Yo, bring this back for a second. So today I'm going to make a quick and nice roast dinner. It's the first time I'm making a roast dinner. Just, like, like <laughs> I was so thrown off by the chicken. Holy fuck. I don't know if it's gonna be perfect, but we can make it perfect, can't we? So I've got some potatoes. Did she? What? What? The what? did she? What did she just do? What did she just do? What did she just eat? What did you just eat? What the fuck did you just eat? What did you eat? What did you just eat? What did she eat? Has she ever heard of salmonella? Like, uh, oh God, what are you doing? Dude, I, I know you're doing this for a bit, but fucking why? Why? Is it worth the salmonella poisoning? Is it really worth it? Stop. Oh my god, stop. I've stop. Some seasonings. I don't know what they are, but apparently these are meant to taste good. So I think this is a paprika. Please stop. I see someone else. Dude, someone fucking seasoning. please stop. What are the comments? There's no way this is real. It's, it's a repost. It's a repost of a repost of a repost. Like, who's the source? Is it Desin Timonius or Candy G official? Who fucking knows? Ginger. A bacille. Like, I know this is a bit, but fucking why, dude? All right, moving. I'm just gonna skip. Oh, that's all wrong. Don't know. Okay, let's put it in the oven. There you go. Straight in the oven. Oh, turn it on. She didn't even turn the oven on. Oh, Uh, she does it a lot. Is literally how she cooks on TikTok all her cooking videos. Okay. All right. Why though? But why? Just another one of hers? Oh. What? Oh, okay. Let me close out all these tabs. So people don't flame me for having tabs open. She's far worse than Kay's kitchen. Everybody's so creative. Oh look, a burger. I like burgers. Oh boy, here we go again. So you get them and smash. It's raw. Oh, you put raw meat in the burger bun and some bacon raw 
and put your pickles, lettuce, tomato, onion, whatever you want on your burger. Just put it all raw. And then stick it on this plate and smush it together. If you don't have that plate, just jump up in the air real high, fall down on it, and let it spread as wide as your backside. Now put your ketchup and mustard all on it and roll it up like a burrito. There you go. You got yourself a bacon burgerito. And now you want to take it and deep fry it as long as you can for 5 to 75 days. And make sure it's bunch of crunches so you can serve. Okay, I, I'm, I can only handle that her for so long. I'm sorry. All right, next video. Chocolate <clears throat> on the outside of it so it gets all over your hands when you're holding it. Okay, cool. I want you to have tons of trouble with the ice. Well, not a ton, just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, have trouble. Perfect. Okay, now do the caramel perfectly. That's great. I want you to look at the camera pretty soon after you pour this coffee. Just glance. Perfect. Okay. Now milk this time. Put a lot of milk. Too much milk. Yeah. That's too much. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. Now stir it around. I want you to put whipped cream, but I want the whipped cream. Dude, coffee TikTok is a whole other fucking realm, dude. Because it, people are so fucking stupid when it comes to coffee. It blows my fucking mind, dude. It's crazy how stupid people are with coffee. Who drinks that much coffee? Are Americans really like that? This isn't coffee. This is this is milk with a side of coffee. This is like and to be fair, yeah, there are a lot of people who drink a lot of coffee. But I mean still, like the I don't dude. Coffee TikTok pisses me off, man. Like this weird like and not just because they mainly put milk in it, but also those people who are like, oh, uh, 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 who, who is it? Starbucks is scamming me with my ice drink because there's only a small amount of liquid and then they put ice on it in order to make it ice. They're scamming me because then I could put more liquid in there. Do you know how much liquid is in a quad shot, you fucking dolt? They're so fucking stupid, man. Hey, that guy got banned that I reported today. Good. Fucking good. We're talking about Overwatch, by the way, chat. Who, someone got banned. The chocolate on the outside of the glass? Yeah, I know. Like spray paint looking whipped cream. I drink black espresso. I'm a, I, I just drink Americano. I'm not like an elitist on, oh, I drink my coffee black. Fuck you guys. I drink espresso, which is a little water. But still, at the end of the day, it's like, I don't know. Some people are just dumb as shit. So, uh, what's this? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, next one. Super recipes. For this recipe, we're going to start off with seven eggs. I'm going to be adding my eggs to very... That actually made me jump. <laughs> like that, that legitimately made me jump. I actually was like, like, whoa, what the fuck are you doing? Dude, the, the fucking boiling oil is just gonna spark and destroy their house. Very, very hot oil. Carefully and slowly, just like this. Oh because my God. Oh! Oh, what are you doing? For eggs, you're going to wait for them to fry. It should take a couple of minutes. It's going to start to brown like this, and it means it's almost ready. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. The fuck are you some doing? Some pepper to give it flavor. I've gotten into the habit of making my eggs with pepper. It makes them so much tastier. That That's a tip? You, you, that, is that supposed to be a tip? putting pepper on your eggs that's a tip that you're that you're saying that's a tip oh my fucking god all right our eggs are continuing to cook they're starting to puff up a bit and they are ready so i'm just going to coat them a bit with some oil and i'm gonna take them out make sure that you try and drain off as much oil as you can in this step so you just made fried eggs but in a in a really really stupid way 
That's all you did. You made fried eggs, but really stupid. And with, with an unnecessarily huge amount of grease to it. So I'm going to add my eggs to a bowl. It's and not over, guys. I thought it was over. It's not over yet. Okay, what do you got next for me? We're going to make the rest of this recipe. Okay, what do you got? You probably noticed that this is a recipe with eggs. Okay, I'm going to add one cup of breadcrumbs. That's a good idea. I'm also going to add half of an onion that's been chopped. Okay. And you can add as much onion as you like. All right. You can add more or less. Okay, I'm also going to add some melted butter. Just like that. That's butter? It looks like mustard. And I'm also going to add in some scallions and herbs for more flavor. So, so they're making an omelet, but in a stupid way. Okay, using a, a spoon here, you're going to just carefully incorporate everything really well. Um, I'm kind of using the spoon to cut up the eggs a little bit, but... Um, but the, the onions aren't even, like, cooked. Or... Or they're... they're I, if you want smaller pieces, you can cut your eggs outside of the bowl using a spoon to do this step. This step is going to take a little bit of time, so just be patient. Or you can just make an omelet. I don't understand what you're, like, what, is, are you just going to eat it like this? This is actually a recipe that my grandmother taught me. Everyone loves it every time I make it. It's so tasty. This is called a furofa recipe. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Furofa recipe. A what? It's so tasty. This is called a furofa recipe. A furofa recipe? Furofa? The fuck is that? Okay, I'm <clears throat> gonna add some more salt and some more pepper. There's already salt and pepper in this recipe, so at this point, just, just add a little. Is that like a legit thing? No. It's not. It's not a recipe. <laughs> it, it's, it's not a recipe. A little bit. Okay, I'm going to take my spoon and I'm going to mix everything again. Just like this until it's all nice and incorporated. So you're going to take dry ass cold breadcrumbs, onions that haven't been uh, 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 heated in the slightest or, or, or no, no sweating of any sorts. Um, you, you, you fried eggs in oil. And I am going to put it in a nice, beautiful, presentable dish. Beautiful. And now our recipe is ready. It looks so good. It's, it's re oh, it's ready. Oh, you're done with it. Oh. You know what they could have done is make an omelet and cut it up. All right, let me, wait, you actually have the actual spelling. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see here. Maybe I'm just being uh, uncultured. Toasted Casanova flour recipe. Yeah, that looks nothing like it. Yeah, that that looks nothing like it at all. Traditional Brazilian side dish made with toasted yuca flour, Casanova flour. This dish is mainly eaten in Brazil. This is just flour. Oh, look, they cooked the onion in the garlic. Wait a second. You're, they actually cooked the onion in the garlic. Where's the egg fried in the oil? It doesn't exist. Man. All right, we, we've, all, we've all seen this. We, we've, all been, we've all been to Kay's channel. Good channel, great channel. <clears throat> Cursed Polish shit.
Chicken fat pizza? This just looks like chicken fat pizza. Gross. God, I don't even want to know what this is. Uh, Zimni Nozik, I can't not say that right. Literally translating to cold feet, but in English is just aspect, apparently. That's what this is. It's called cold feet. Okay, this is Cernia, the worst thing I've heard of who'd want to add duck blood to a perfectly good broth. Looks like worms. That literally just looks like excrement. That's just excrement. Okay, we got another case cooking. Classic. I've seen this one. Huh. <sighs> What do we got here? Uh, this has plastic on it. Uh, whatever this is, it has plastic on it still. This looks like spaghetti noodles, but not cooked all the way. Are those noodles? Looks like penises. They all look like individual penises. What is this? Mushrooms? Oh, it's mushrooms. Mushrooms, but what is the plastic? Enoki mushrooms. Faux crab? They forgot to take off the plastic. That could be fake crab. I've never seen just, I mean, I've seen mushroom soup, but never like this. Cooking with Jack Show Church Chili. How long is this? Eight minutes? Oh, I've seen this guy before. Wait, wait, this is the guy that did like the, the, the casserole, right? The fucking, yeah. Oh wait, it's gotta be his popular one. Damn, this guy's still going strong. All right, well, what's the video though? Church Chili. Let's just skip to the end. And then, the reason I'm going to take first place is because of this magic right here. Is that a adobo sauce? Some chipotles and adobo sauce? Chipotles and adobo sauce. I fucking called it, dude. How good am I? How good am I? Holy shit. Called it. Okay, so I chopped- I, I, I use Chipotle's uh, with the adobo sauce with chicken tacos sometimes. Chopped up all the Chipotle peppers and the adobo sauce. It's all mixed in here now. Yeah, that does, yeah, that's not, that does not look like good chili. I've had plenty of good chili. Amy makes an insane chili. Go back to the meat he used. I was about to ask, is that canned chicken? Is that canned chicken? That's gotta be canned chicken, right? Okay, Amy sent me something. Apparently I have to watch it. A anytime my wife sends me something, I have to watch it right away. No. I thought it was repeating, but the hot dog's getting bigger. Yeah, I thought it was repeating, but the hot dog is actually getting bigger. <sighs> what 
Why? Okay, yeah, let me see what meat he used. It looks like diced tomatoes, corn, black beans. No way. Wait. Okay, this is when it gets interesting. This is when we put everything together. Bratwurst? I love the meat. The meat's important. That's the key. So we'll put that much in for now. He used bratwurst? Uh, onion and garlic. So, but it's uh, the exact description is down below. All right, probably the hardest thing. That is, that is a black burnt piece of brisket right there. What is that? The, dude, the, what, what is this bark? The bark is black. The bark does not did, need to be this black. And the meat is gray. It's dry as fuck. Yeah, this is old as shit. What is this? Brisket. I cooked it for 12 hours. This is leftovers. You guys remember last year I did, I had a smoked brisket and it was, it was amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Wait, does he mean last year? Wait, wait, wait. Is this beautiful smoked brisket? I cooked it for 12 hours. This is leftovers. You guys remember last year I did, I had a smoked brisket and it was, it was amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Is that, is that a work of art? Can you see that? Look at that outer crust there. That no, that's not how it's supposed to look, my dude. It's not supposed to look black. <laughs> As someone who's cooked brisket many times, no, that is not what it's supposed to look like. It's just, it's just gorgeous. So we're gonna, we're gonna cube this up and reheat all this, and this cooked for 12 hours. This is the meat. We're not using ground beef. Blech. Nobody uses ground beef anymore if you wanna win a contest. So we're gonna dice up this brisket. Down below is the season. What are the comments here? Chili made entirely from canned ingredients and cheap sausage mixed with one fresh onion, and the winning ingredient is a leftover brisket from last year. I love how Jack is just casually poisoning a whole community of people. Wow. Wow. Like at first I was, all I was paying attention to was the outside because I was like a brisket should not, like a bark should not be that black. But then yeah, looking at the inside. Oh boy. What a masterpiece. All right, what do we got here? This woman seems so sweet, but her cooking is, it's cooking, okay. Ooh, mama, what you making? Josh, I'm fixing to make a pineapple casserole. <laughs> mama, why are you doing that? Because <laughs> I'm gonna make me a mixed drink later. I wasn't that shook. Mama. <laughs> Wait, wait, what's the cheese for? Where is Jump. that? It goes on top. This is bait. I thought with like the sugar, it was like a dessert type thing, but then you put cheese. It could be whatever you want it to be, Josh. It's bait. Yeah, this is bait. This is bait. Okay. This isn't real. If I didn't know there was pineapples under there, I think I would think it would look good. But... <laughs> okay, so now is it done? Is it? It's done. You can put it in the oven. Oh, that's not too bad. That's good, don't it? it smells cheesy. Don't eat it. There's no way they actually eat it, right? Oh, it's just so watery. <laughs> Josh, that's where your flavor is. Okay, yeah, they didn't eat it. It's not real. No, nope. no, they didn't eat it. It's not real. Nope. Unless I see them take a bite, it's not real. 
Okay, what the heck is this? Yeah, I'm no. I'm no, I'm not even wasting my time on this shit. Nope. Well, obviously this is bait, but like, dear lord, I'm good. Full video with the eating. What's up, YouTube? No. He doesn't eat it. Oh my god, why do they look to you weird? Mm. No, don't, don't. What the fuck? Any savory jello ish looking dish disgusts me. Aspic? Okay, alright. Wait, 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 wait a second. Why would they call it that? Why would they call it that? That, what the fuck? Okay, I, I was, I was naming, I was naming it. I was, na I was, call I was saying the name. I wasn't saying the, the word, the, all right. Savory gelatin dish made with a meat stock or a consomme set in a mold to encase other ingredients. Maybe it's pronounced ass pick. Yes, ass pick. Not what I said. It, it it looks fake, like like this looks like it, it, it's like a, a like a, a, a cardboard cutout. Gross. What what the it it goes on. What the fuck? Ew. Ew. <clears throat> Oh, this. I fucking love this video. This video is so funny. Spaghetti. We'll start by taking some spaghetti noodles and we'll put it in the bowl. We just break them in half, put them in for 10. Microwave spaghetti, dude. This depressed old man. And while that's cooking, we'll open up our can of spaghetti sauce and then when the spaghetti is done, we'll Italians are dying inside. Yeah. Drain it. And our noodles are done cooking. We take them out. You got to kind of watch it because it's hot. We're just going to strain our noodles. What is the context of this though? Like, what is 76? What like public access channel is this on? Is this a Tim and Eric skit? We'll add our sauce to the noodles and we'll pop it back in the microwave this time it'll be for three minutes three minutes jesus christ 
and our spaghetti dinner is ready for you to eat and it only took about 14 or 15 minutes in total to prepare so uh, pretty much the equivalent of if you actually cook spaghetti <laughs> Yeah, I guess if you don't have a stove. Like, well, who is this for? That's what I don't get. Aunt M Myrna's party cheese salad. Do you know what time it is? It's time for Aunt Myrna's recipes. Wait, yo, is this it? Yeah, this is the one! Yes, this is the one! Yeah! Take your... Crushed pineapples. Yes. Pour in the pan. It's the one. Thanks, Prospect. Right, that was Prospect who sent that, right? Yeah. It's right, the one. Your, uh, get your Jello mix. You're gonna do one large Jello, uh, lemon or lime. We got another. We got a another pineapple casserole. Okay, maybe that video was legit. Two small packets. There you go for this. It totally mixes in. Totally melts down. Cream cheese pretty much melted down. You can still see the chunks of pineapple in there. Pimento. That's a that's a big ass chunks nice. of jalapeno. Nuts. We're gonna mix that in. I can't even begin to explain to you. He thinks his food is genuinely good. Tasting this was. It looks horrible, but I'm telling you, Aunt Myrna never has failed me yet and i have had this so i hope mine turns out as good as hers. bro i think you need have your taste buds hers. checked i'll be in business i don't recommend using imitation or fat free or sugar free because they they have a different reaction this, you want the regular real cool whip or real whipped cream thick as you can find in the dish carefully mmm yeah Kind of mix it around so the pineapple is all throughout the, uh, just make sure all your three up. And he tops it with cheese. All right, yeah. Use American cheese. I wouldn't use a cheddar or a sharp because it's not going to have the same flavor effect. Yeah, you use the cheap shit, you know, just get some craft Singles and just toss it on top. Now I'm going to chill this overnight and then we're going to take a look at it in the morning. It's going to be solid. It's gonna be cold, it's gonna be sweet, it's gonna be delicious. Okay, well I realized I didn't have to wait overnight and the family wants to try this out. So we've only been chilling this for about four hours, but as you can tell, it's completely solid and cold and it looks beautiful, look at that. That, look that looks beautiful, great. oh. There we go. It almost has like a pudding effect. We're gonna give that a try. Look at how beautiful that looks. How, mm. Yeah, be, that's beautiful. Wow. I love that. So good. I know it. Of course, I don't know if mine came out as good. So here's to delicious tasting. Mm. No, he, he doesn't like it. There's no way. There's no way. It blows my mind. That it's so sweet and dessert-like and has all those vegetables in it. <laughs> no. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, there's no way he likes it, dude. There's no fucking way, dude. Alright, last video. This is proof. This is proof it's not bait. Wait, what? Wait, which one? Mama, what do you say you need help with? <laughs> Making the salmon stew. Mama. <laughs> Josh, just be pulling the bones out of it. Here, big Mama, I'm not touching that. <laughs> and what's the what's the next step? I'm gonna add potatoes. Canned potatoes. Wait, what is that? Mama, I'm not eating. 
guess you're not eating them. She actually ate it. Oh, she actually ate that. Oh my god. Like, the thing that blows my mind... Who the fuck taught these people to cook? Now it's time to walk away I hope you enjoyed your stay Did you laugh or cry or maybe subscribed? I'll thank you either way You know I will miss you I hope you return Tell your friend or your mother To get me more views, please